police in South Korea reported that a possible hack originating from North Korea has been aimed at a major joint military exercise between their capital city and the U.S., which is due to take place on Monday. South Korea and the United States will begin their Ulchi Freedom Shield drills on Monday, lasting until August 31 in response to mounting threats posed by nuclear-armed North Korea. Pyongyang perceives such maneuvers as preparation for an invasion and has warned it would take drastic action in response. Believed to be linked to North Korea's Kim Saki Group, hackers persistently targeted South Korean contractors at the Joint Allies Exercise Simulation Center, according to an announcement from Jeonggi Nambu Provincial Police Agency on Sunday. Investigators have endeavored to identify the source of the attack and, according to the statement, have established it was an organization connected to North Korea. No military data were taken, the announcement stated. An inquiry conducted collaboratively between the police and United States military revealed that the IP address related to the recent attack was identical to one pinpointed during a 2014 breach of South Korea's nuclear reactor operator, the statement explained. This hacker group had been suspected of being responsible for the incident. Kim Saki hackers are likely tasked by North Korea with a global intelligence gathering mission, as determined by the U.S. Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency in 2020. To accomplish this mission, they use spear phishing tactics sending emails containing malicious attachments which allow them to gain access to desired information from victims. The group, whose activity is thought to date back to 2012, has been aiming its attacks at individuals and organizations in South Korea, Japan, and the United States. They appear to be concerned with foreign policy and national security matters concerning the Korean Peninsula, nuclear policy, and sanctions. Stay connected for regular cybersecurity news.